Hi, everybody. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's March the 10th, and I hope you've had a wonderful day. I want to give you just a quick little recap of the week. Um, you know, this is the first time that I used the Insider program, and we've talked about that during the week and left the link. Um, also, this is the first time I've done Flavor Wiki, so that's in my previous videos this week, but that was just really wonderful. Now, I will tell you, I know every week will not be like this because they don't have those like every day, those offers all the time like Ibotta, but we will certainly take advantage of them when they do have them. Now, I did keep up this week with um, what I did in the overage, so let me share that with you right now, then we'll get back to the purchases. All right, my overages from this week, you can see on Tuesday, there was a $31 overage. And you can see that on my video um, from earlier this week. Wednesday, with the granola bars, there was a $12.17 overage. So Monday, that overage was you know, from the Insider Program. Okay, Wednesday, that was from Flavor Wiki, that overage of the granola bars. And Friday, that's a granola bar purchase also from another Flavor Wiki survey I had. All right, so my overage, now this was above and beyond what it cost to get these products. And as I said, the worksheets on those papers are with those, um, those projects are with the previous videos. Also, I had $4.86 brand club that I had not um, put anywhere else, $1.82 and then 89 cents. So, I sink that three times a day regardless, and just think that if I had actually done surveys, that would have been even better. Okay, so my total overage are money makers this week. Now, this is not, again, this is over and above what it costs for the product. My total overage was $56.85, and so I've got that to put on the rest of this month's um, grocery budget that I was able to create with these other um, programs. Now, today, here's what I did. And this will include tax, so you know it's all paid for. This that you see here, the two Canada Dry, the two um, of these Fast Twitch, two of the Dove, two of the Axe, and my Coca-Cola. These were what I purchased today with gift cards at Walmart, $50.75. Now let me tell you how I broke this down and got that back. Um, earlier this week, you know, I got this from the Insider, but the deals are still good, so I didn't have that to do again, but I'll tell you what I did do to get these products. All right, so we're back here to my handy dandy old school teacher notebook. All right, so $50.75 out of pocket with the gift cards. All right, now on, um, Right here, I got $4 off one of these for Shopmium, $4 on the other from Alexa. So I submitted one for one and one for the other. Now I couldn't have just got one bottle and submitted it for both. You've gotten to have a product for each of those. So I did. All right, the Axe, I was able to get um, that back from Shopmium. $6 for purchasing two of these acts, and these were the $4.97 ones, so these are not even the priciest ones, so we got that back, all right, and we also got back from Ibotta for those, and Swag Bucks, so you'll see again, Alexa's $4 for the dub, um, Shopmium, I got back $10, six for the acts, four for the dub, on Swag Bucks, I got back $5 for the two Dub Body Wash, $6 back for the X. So as you see, that's clicking right off the total. All right, I got back $5.01 from Bing, 10 cent from Frisbee, and all of those are always in my description box. Um, let me see, 20 cent from Frisbee from Found Receipts, $1.44 from Fetch, um, Pogo, 3 cent, 25 cent for Maryfield. Y'all didn't remind me, I have not done that this week. So I got together 10 of my receipts and I maxed that out and got my money back from Maryfield. 10 cents back from Swag Bucks. You may or may not know whether there's an offer on them or not. Each one of those grocery receipts and big box retailer receipts are generally worth a penny each. All right, so I also got back from Shopkicks. I don't know if I mentioned this. These, the Kinder Dry, were $3 back each on um, Ibotta. 
Then they've gone down from 350, but down to 200 shot kicks each. So this works out, I believe it was $2.18 for a 12 pack, and then divide that down. Um, it's gonna cost more than it did last week when it's 13 cent per can, but still much, much less expensive than normal. All right, now I'm really happy about this. Let me show you again the result of that. You might've already seen it. So that's a $1.53 money maker. Then if I add the coin out, receipt hog, receipt jar, receipt pal, you know, they don't add up as fast. That's another two cent. And guess what? Off of a found receipt, there was a People magazine. I put it in for $1.75 on Checkout 51. So that made that even sweeter. And I didn't have to use any of my overage um, from this past week to pay for this. Now, I did want to break this down. Um, and yes, there was an offer on Fast Twitch as well. But I broke down the money makers over here. The Axe, I got two of those at $4.97 each for a total of $9.94. Got back $4 from Ibotta, six from Shopmium, six from Swagbucks. So that is a $6.06 moneymaker. So these moneymakers help pay for like the Coke I got that wasn't on offer, the rest of the Fast Twitch, and the rest of the Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Okay, the Dove Body Wash, they were $9.97 each for a total of $19.94. And I got back $5 from Swagbucks, eight from Ibotta, four from Shopium, and four from Alexa for a $1.06 moneymaker. So I did want to mention that. So I hope you have learned a little something from here. And I have enjoyed this. And you'll find out I've not been chasing the Ibotta bonuses. I'm trying to do moneymakers to add to my budget. So I'm not really chasing those um, budget, those offers of those bonuses right now, just in case you were wondering about that. But thank you all for watching. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you for sharing. And I love you.